still can absolutely, you know, if the opponent is not respecting the moves he puts out, they can get taken for a ride. Three, two, one, go! Right, starting it off, we know Vivi is so adept at his low percent combos. Nice freed on the air dodge. Get him just a little bit more. All right, they're looking to make some space for their gyro right now. Great carry by Vivi. That was a great movement by being able to get in, but Dill was ready with the grab. Yeah, this is also, you know, whenever Lucario is on screen, one of the big, big questions is, how is his opponent actually going to kill him? Right. And Rob, Rob has kill power, but at times Rob can struggle to actually find ways to reliably end stocks. And if Vivi is able to exploit that, I mean, we're now getting to the point where this could be death percent. So let's see whether or not Dill is actually going to find the finishing blow. Ooh, get up attacks through the arm murder. Oh, I thought Vivi had the gyro in hand. That was odd. All right, but now Vivi at that high aura and a back air from <laughs> the right platform at, I think it was 80, is more than enough to kill a Rob. And now Dill has no rage on the board and Vivi has all of the aura to play around with. You know, he's got that huge aura sphere to what? make it. <laughs> oh, no. I can't believe that didn't hit him. But, I mean, I think that was intentional by Vivi. Oh, yes. No, it's he releases them at these specific heights that he doesn't have to worry about the risk of them getting reflected right back in his face. Ooh, managing to... Oh, no, but just a little too many pummels. I, I, I definitely agree with that, though. I think you need a little bit more in order for this to actually work. Oh, no mash! So smart! Another back air. Absolutely will do it. And a dash attack on Vivi's shield. You're so dead. Oh, 172. Yeah, all right. This is why Vivi plays Lucario in the matchup. I love that uh, height for the Aura Sphere. It's such that it... 44. <laughs> the 162. You're, you're basically already dead. Basically. You're at kill percent. <laughs> a Command Grab will do it. An Aura Sphere will do it. Gunner won't quite do it just yet. Force Palm will do it. There's so many moves Lucario has at this point. <laughs> oh, back air is one of them. Yep, that gyro just a little bit mistimed. Lucario full hops oh, right oh, over it, and that back air is absolutely enough to do it. It's a very dominant game one by VV. I mean, you know, that's just kind of what Lucario can do once he gets that momentum. Yeah. If you're not able to get the first stock, cause, I mean, the first stock in a Lucario match is so important. You know, it's almost unfair because if the Lucario takes the first stock, it becomes this almost insurmountable thing. I mean, we saw just how it can escalate out of control. But if Dill takes the first stock, it's still going to be a really scary match because mm -hmm. you're like, ah, I took the first stock. But then Lucario gets Aura a little bit quicker on the next stock. And then eventually you're probably going to end up being in some situation where like you're at zero and they're at 140. And you're like, oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Right. All right Dill taking her time on the platform. Waiting for an opening. Not able to get that grab, though. And now you be getting those low, low percent combos. Is that because of the buff down tilt? That worked? Uh, maybe. I'm liking this spacing right now from BB, just like making sure to stay at this very awkward range for Delta to actually, you know, try and hit him. Yeah, not far enough that, uh, you know, Dill can, you know, do whatever she wants, but, you know, just far enough that Dill has to use the gyro Ooh. and laser at a reactable yeah. distance. Exactly. It's reactable, especially with the full hop. Like, if, if Vivi full hops when, you know, he's expecting Dill to throw out a gyro or something like that, we already saw in game one, that can lead to a really big back air. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is scary percents for both players right now. It is really going to be on Dill to take this first stock and, you know, just not let Vivi get that momentum that he had in game one. It's getting kind of dicey. <laughs> All these parry, parry, parry. Oh, oh my god. Oh. oh. That's actually not doing it. 
that mix-up is so nasty where, you know, he can just hold the Aura Sphere on your shield and still be able to get that Force Palm out. The fact that it's a command grab just makes it so much harder to deal with. That's there gonna, we go. Yeah. Just barely. And that is huge for Dill. Oh, yeah. No, it's it means that not only that, Lucario now has no Aura. Meaning that Lucario now, it's like, what? A, a, what? what? You're not supposed to be able to kill with no Aura. <laughs> vivi has got some plot armor right now. Vivi just like, it, it's... Vivi is, Vivi is, you know, bar none, one of the best Lucarios in the world, but I think he's probably the best Lucar like Auralis Lucario. Like, oh, yeah. the fact that he's able to get all these low percent combos, able to get kills without requiring his percent to be in the red, it's a difference maker. Absolutely. It's what makes him so much more dynamic, so much more of a threat of a player. Great catch by Vivi. Dill looking to find a way outside of the corner. Vivi not letting her. Oh! Jumped right into that gyro, but Dill not actually able to get a punish. Now she's off stage at 99%. A back air will kill. I think that there, at least there aren't too many options just quite yet from Lucario that she has to really be worried about. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless. Okay, now, she, now, now she's got to be waking in her boots. Very worried. Oh, that was so... Okay, so he was absolutely ready for the last time he went for the aura, uh, for the Force Palm after that. And there he was anticipating uh, to, to go for a roll away. That's why he canceled it into that try and follow through. Really smart from Dill not to fall for it, though. That means that she's still alive right now, 141. It's a grim percentage to be at, but she manages to oh. get back down to the ground. She could very well take out his Levy stock right here. Nice punish. Extreme speed can be so hard to punish, but Dill's been doing a pretty good job of, you know, getting the opportunity when it when it arises. Yeah, Dill taking that high road, not wanting to deal with the aura sphere ledge trapping at How all. How is Dill alive? Dill has been alive Ooh. at like 130 against Rage Lucario for two minutes. Oh, okay. not against an aura up air though. All right, can Dill even this up real quick though? Up throw is not enough to do it, just barely. If she had had the rage from before, it definitely would have been enough. But now, yep. oh, the fact that that aura sphere is now eating through the projectiles like that means that Dill has, to, there's an extra layer of fear, an extra layer of, oh, oh my no. god. I thought she was just gonna die from Me that. Me too. Oh, that did like 30. Oh man, that down tilt <laughs> so far. Oh, that's What it. a conversion. That's instant. I, how did he even react to the, the hit confirm? Like, that's... I don't know. Absolutely incredible stuff from Vivi. Going to be taking that set. I believe that was 2-0, right? Yeah. Yeah, Vivi looking real rice... Real nice right now. Um, as he's going to be moving on into winner's semis. All right, so... I think we're about to be doing a caster swap. We are. Uh, so, anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Do donate to the Macharino, by the way. Do it. Macharino. Like, I'm, I'm looking point I'm gonna, I'm gonna, in I'm the gonna chat. look directly into the camera right now. I'm going to make you guys uncomfortable with eye contact. Do the Macharino. <laughs> <laughs>